Hey folks, it's Sean with Tim Short Classics and Tim Short 78 Lincoln today. Today we've got an update. This is a car that I've been driving for a little while. We decided to put it up for sale. The 78 Lincoln town car with get this 36,000 miles on it. And I probably put a thousand miles those miles on that myself. This little car is 460 V8. This big car is 460 V8. Naturally automatic. Sitting on 20s. Appreciate US mags. This car is an amazing car to drive. We just had the top redone on it. Uh, the previous photos we had of the car, uh, the, the top was original and kind of ratty looking. So Uncle Eddie's over in Knott County, Kentucky did the top for us. Get this, the air still blows cold on the car. The cruise control works. Radio works. CB works. All the window buttons work. Power seats work. And it's like sitting on your front seat and it being your couch and you riding, riding to the grocery store or flea market or wherever you want to ride to for the day. Lexington, Kentucky, Alabama, wherever. This car, I'd drive it anywhere. And I have driven it everywhere. I'm probably going to drive it to Lexington this weekend. She's an original paint car. She's got a little crackling back here. When they say what's crackling lacking. We put a, since I've had it, we put a water pump on it, some hoses, tuned it up, just more wise and in stuff because the car, it's still got the cover in the back of it. The car is set for before we got it for a little while. Got a ton of paperwork with it. Which usually when you see these cars, unless somebody's just run the dog crap out of them, they've usually got low miles on them. But do they have 20 US mags on them and the top? I do have the original tires and wheels to go with the car if you'd rather have the wires closed, you're more of a traditionalist. That's left up to you. It's your world, I just live in it. You can have both sets, one set, whatever you like. And this was kind of an impromptu because it, we just got it back from having the top done. And it's the evening time and it's really pretty up here in the evening. So we thought we'd just do a little video on our way to the house. And as I said earlier in another video, we do not charge for stink bugs. You stink, see a stink bug in this video because they're everywhere right now. You can see we are at the Pike County Airport on a reclaimed mine site. I always mention those because this gives us the opportunity to have commerce and industry and businesses and factories and all the other stuff that we get in the mountains because if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have it. Be nice scenery. There's my scenery. Miss Shyness. We're gonna do, we're gonna drive it to the house and she's gonna do a ride and drive as we're driving the home. Nice and sexy here. You ready? Okay, let's roll. I need the phone when we get in here. I still film with an iPhone. I don't have the big fancy cameras and stuff that a lot of these stores have. And go back to the busted can of biscuits. Look, we're going down here and turn. Power steering on this car is really nice. The front end is in alignment really well. Doesn't pull or anything going down the road. If you do buy it, because it, that where I put some miles on it, I probably want to change the oil in it for you. Just because it's probably new. Let's All the lights work, turn signal works. The Cartier clock still works. I need to reset it because it's been off for a little while. The clock works. I wonder if that's what they call the Cartier edition just because it's got that little clock in it. 36,895,000 miles as of today. This is Wednesday, I think. Hopefully, 
of some dead road in this pop bottle. It's amazing about Eastern Kentucky back roads. Like, we on our days off and when we're in town in the evenings or whatever, we'll just gra grab something old and just ride back roads. And we'll go over, like, we've took a lift out of here just to see where it takes us. We just like to get lost. And we'll just drive until we find out where we're gonna come out at. Find an alternate route home. We are really close to the brakes, Interstate Park, which is maybe 40 minutes from here at the most. If you've never been to the brakes, Google it, look it up. Beautiful scenery, especially this time of year. I think I just saw a Dicker Sprout box was that earlier. Or Adventure tourism is a big thing. And I think when we was over there, we went to eat lunch at the brakes last weekend or weekend before. And now they've got, you can ride ATVs around the brakes and come into the lodge and eat. They got really good food there, too. I apologize if the glass might be a little dirty in the car, just due to, um, we, I just washed it off after we got the top on it. I want to do some pictures of it to update it online. I've not had this car for sale for a while just because of, you know, it, it's just such a good daily car to drive back and forth to work. And of all the cars, we've got 20 something cars, and every morning I'll get a picture of somebody to take of this car while I'm on my way to work, and they'll say, is that you going to the shop? Just because of, you know, it's just different. Everybody's got 55 through 57 Chevrolets and Harley Street Glides. And, you know, when I worked for Harley Davidson years ago, we had the Street Glides. Every, you know, they'd always say, uh, you pull up to a bike night and they'd say, what are you riding? And they'd say, a Street Glide. And they'd say, oh, me too. So we call it Street Glides, me too. And there's a lot of cars that way too. When you go to a show, you'll see a lot of the same stuff. When you go to a cruise into this, I promise you, probably one of the only ones there, not the only one. I'm not going to tell you she gets 30 miles to the gallon either. I think she gets around 15, 16 miles to the gallon, uh, if I remember right. We, we've had it over the shop for the past week. I've not been driving it and getting the top done on it. Like I said, Uncle Eddie's Body Shop uh, here in Eastern Kentucky did the top. It's the first one they ever did, and they did. They knocked it out of the park. And they, uh, they, they're always quality, dependable work turn around to it's really hard to find in eastern kentucky find someone that can do interiors and stuff just because of um, you know there's just where we're at this you know, you know per capita there's just not a there's a lot of old cars here but there's just not a lot of people that does the work on them. that's kind of why we started up me and my wife moved back here from bowling green uh last year and we decided uh, a couple months ago three months ago tim and todd craft and i decided to uh, start doing this and you know, we're the only ones in the area that does it. All of our business is internet. We ship worldwide, nationwide. Uh, wherever you want it to go, we can get it there. That's no problem. And I'll pull up here, we'll stop. We did our little loop. What's this light turn? All right, thanks again, guys, for riding with us. Uh, if you're looking for a nice, quality, dependable car that won't break the bank at 11.9, this car is a definitely a good car for you. Um, I'd highly recommend it. Not every car I know everything about, I hate it. Um, but this car here, we've driven it long enough that it's it'd be good for someone. Uh, we have financing available on this car, even though it is 11.9. I do have a couple of banks that will finance it with 10% down in good credit and I'll ship it to you wherever you're at, or you can come home or come in and drive it home, whatever's good for you. Check us out at timshortclassics.net. You can check us out on all the social stuff at Tim Short Classics. Um, then you can also shoot me an email at sowens at timshortautomotor.com or call me at 606-220-3225. Again, at 606-220-3225. I'd love to get to talk to you, even if you're not interested in buying the car. Love to get to talk to you about what you've had and what you've got. You can call me anytime. Thank you guys, and I hope you all have a great day. God bless you, and we'll see you with another car tomorrow.